Hello everyone, it's Camille, and today I'm going to be doing a video that is not like my normal videos. Um, if I had a blog channel, I would definitely put this up um, on my what's it called on my blog channel, but I do not have one yet. I'm thinking of maybe making one. Let me know in the comments if you would enjoy that. Um, I'm not too sure yet, um, but for now, it's just going to go up on my regular channel because I do do kind of non-beauty related videos on here sometimes. So not many, but I decided I really want to do this video. And if you're not Canadian, then this show <laughs> wouldn't apply to you. Um, but I'm Canadian, so we are going to talk about it. And it is Bachelor Canada. Um, this show premiered, I want to say Wednesday, and it is now Friday. But I did watch it last night because I was busy Wednesday night. Funniest show of my life. I kid you not. Like, if you going to have me on Twitter, not many of my subscribers have me on Twitter. That's why I felt like I had to film this video. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to be looking at my phone because I have notes because it's just hilarious. Like, actually, like, funniest show of my life and not for, like, the good reasons. Like, it is so cheesy. Okay, um, first of all, The Bachelor. His name's Brad Smith, okay? I didn't even know about this guy. I'm not going to lie till The Bachelor started. Apparently, he, like, plays for the CFL or something. Um, he plays for, like, I want to say Edmonton or something, and he's from Montreal. Brad Smith. That was the most boring name. Like, I'm sorry if your name is, like, Laughing Smith or, like, your name's Brad. Like, that is such a boring name. Like, whitest name ever. So, I mean, that's kind of weird. <laughs> His intro was just so cheesy. And then he's just kind of creepy in general. Like, all the girls were coming in, and he kept complimenting on their dresses. He's like, nice dress. Like, I think that's kind of weird, personally, for a guy. Oh, I'm drinking my diet. Oh, there's, like, none left, but... Um, I'm drinking Diet Coke. But, um... <laughs> It was just really awkward to watch. And then he kept saying cheesy Canadian lines. Like, he kept saying, take, like, when the girls would, like, like, it's either the, like, welcome, he'd be like, take it easy, eh? Like, why does he just say eh every, after everything? Like, I know this is a Canadian show, but, like, Canadian people don't actually speak like that. Like, it's like a stereotype. Like, you don't have to make us sound more, like, ridiculous. Like, what the hell? Okay, and then, don't get offended if you guys are, like, a religious person, but there's, like, a pastor on the show, I think her name's Chantel. I'm sorry, but, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the Bible is, like, against, like, men dating, like, multiple women, like, on a reality show, like, I don't know, it doesn't seem very, like, holy to, like, go on The Bachelor, like, I don't know, it was just really awkward. Okay, so I have some tweets here that I'm going to read, and I will seriously, like credit the person who wrote these because they deserve credit so you should follow them if you think these tweets are hilarious so if you've seen the bachelor of canada these tweets will make you laugh so blair k johnson said laugh out loud at the girl who looks like kim kardashian that dated chris humphreys yes there was a girl on bachelor of canada that used to date chris humphreys who if you don't know is um kim kardashian's ex-husband and he looks i mean she looks exactly like kim kardashian and she claims that Chris Humphrey dumped her for Kim Kardashian. I thought that was hilarious. Like, I was, like, dying. <laughs> like, oh, my God. It's just so funny. It's so cheesy. Like, where do they get these girls? Obviously in Canada. So the next tweet is by Iris Gap X. And it says, I think The Bachelor of Canada is and will be the most awkward show I've ever watched. I agree. It's awkward to watch. I've already said this, but I just thought I would credit her. Um, Multimedia Sarah said, did you all, did all the girls on Bachelor Canada get their dresses at Fairweather? I agree. Does anyone know what Fairweather is? It's this really tacky, like, store. We used to have one near where I live. I don't even know if they still make Fairweather. I don't know. It's just tacky dresses. I noticed that, too, though. As the girls were coming out of the limo, the dresses were horrendous. Like, there was very few that I liked. Like, Bachelor US, like, you girls rock with your fashion. Bachelor Canada, like, what was that about? They were all hideous. <laughs> okay. Stiletto for Necky says, Fawn is a hooker name. Hashtag Bachelor Canada. Yes, the Fawn girl? Okay, she's like, She's like, remember me, Fawn, like a baby deer. Um, no, Fawn is, a, I agree, Fawn is a hooker name. And they have, like, a legit Playboy model, too, on Bachelor Canada. Um, I forget her name, though. It's, like, Melissa Marie or something. So, yeah. And they also had a stripper, but I think she got eliminated. <laughs> She's from, like, Winnipeg or something. So, Stiletto for Nikki also said, you know it's a Canadian show when they don't put subtitles for the French. And I thought that was hilarious, too, because there was a part where there was a girl from, I don't know where she was from, but she spoke French, and then Brad speaks French, so of course she had to, like, show off her French. 
Uh, I'm French, so like I didn't even catch this at first. But normally, if they speak a different language, like in the like U.S. one, like they'll put like a subtitle. But in Canada, they just expect you to know French. I live in B.C. No one really speaks French, so I didn't really get that. I was like, okay, like I know we're in Canada, but I mean. Not everyone speaks French, so yeah, that was it for the tweets I retweeted. Um, basically, I think the show is hilarious. Um, some of my favorites, though, I do have some favorites, even though lots of them are really, really annoying. I really like Kara. She's actually from Delta, BC, which is near me, so representing the area. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for her. I hope she makes it far. There was another girl. The girl that looks like Kim Kardashian. I'm rooting for her too. I like her. Um, the model from Montreal is absolutely gorgeous, the blonde girl, um, I hope she goes far. Um, the girl from Calgary that he's, like, is so gorgeous, so gorgeous, like, he's obsessed with her, like, the box girl, boxing girl, I do not like her, and I also don't like that Gabrielle check, that girl is just, like, creepy. Um, there's a lot of girls I don't like, I'm probably gonna stop talking about all the girls I don't like, because there's, like, a million, um, but... Yeah, it's an interesting show. If you like these kind of videos, I could do like um like a series of this like every week. I wouldn't mind doing that. It's fun for me. And these videos are kind of quick to film. So let me know in the comments if you'd like that. Basically, I think Bachelor Canada is hilarious. And if you're in Canada and you have the opportunity to watch it, watch it. Like just once. You just have to experience it because I think it's hilarious. It's like the equivalent of watching like Honey Boo Boo. Like it's just funny. Like or I think it is. If you're American. I don't think you can watch it on your TV, but you might be able to find it online. Like, I go on, like, allfreetvshows.com, and you could probably find it on there. I hope you can. Because if you're American, I think it would be even funnier, because you could just, like, make fun of Canadians. Like, why not? <laughs> so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of different than most of my videos, but basically, it's the funniest show of my life. And I wanted to let you know, because I like to let you guys know, like, my TV shows and stuff like that. So, yeah. Talk to y'all later. Bye.